Hello and welcome to another video. So, Sony just took a big giant turd on us. Um, let's start from the beginning, all right? Let's start how this day went for me. All right, so it started off at, what, one o'clock is when they had the, um, the showcase event. So I watched that, I streamed that, um, that showcase, and then I was tired. So after it was done, I took a nap. I woke up about five o'clock, I believe. Five o'clock-ish, I opened up my email, boom, pre-order is available. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. All right, now let's rewind back to July 18th, 2020, when this article was posted. PlayStation 5 pre-orders won't open within a minute's notice, says Sony. Minutes. It literally took them like two hours. Well, to their credit, they wanted to release the pre-orders um, today. Well, today is technically the 17th. They wanted to release the pre-orders on the 17th. But some retailers like Walmart... Um, released theirs on the 16th, which is yesterday. So, you know, even even a day, that's still too short of a, of, a, of a window. Give us at least, like, a few days to prepare. Just like what Xbox is doing, they're giving you, like, two weeks. They announced, like, two weeks ago, and about one more week, they're going to open up the pre-orders on the 22nd that you can be able to pre-order the Xbox Series X. But this is what they said on July 18, 2020, PS5 pre-orders won't open within a minute notice, says Sony. That was a fucking lie. Sony has confirmed that it will provide plenty of notice before it opens pre-orders for the PS5. Literally, just two hours after everything was announced, pre-orders opened up. And m with my luck, I woke up right when Target was sold out of pre-orders. Walmart was sold out from pre-orders. Um, Amazon didn't have theirs up. Um, what else? GameStop was sold out for the regular edition. I believe the digital edition was sold out as well as the one with the disc. That one was sold out when I got up. So I was like frantic. I was trying to call the stores, seeing what's going on. Nobody's picking up the phone. Best Buy closed early. And then like the Best Buy website kept crashing. And it was just a big fucking mess. The announcement comes from head of PlayStation Worldwide Marketing, Eric Lampel, who was interviewed by Jeff Keighley following the recent otherwise related, relatively unilluminating DualSense controller stream. When Keighley asked for a comment on recent flurry of rumors that Sony is planning to press a button, which is exactly what they did, like, or retail is just Push the damn button and pre-order was available. Nobody got notification. Nobody was ready. Like literally, if you didn't jump on it within like the first a few hours, you pretty much just asked out. And yeah. Anyway, press the button and launch PS5 pre-orders imminently. Lampel responded, no, definitely not now. Mm, that's a lie. Because that's exactly what happened here. We don't know what happened there. We had nothing to do with it. I got a message from someone saying people were lining up at stores. We had no idea why. Rappel added that it's safe to say Sony will let those intending purchasing a PS5 know when pre-orders will happen. It's not going to happen within a minute's notice. We're going to, at some point, let you know when you can pre-order a PlayStation 5. So please, don't feel like you have to go run and line up anywhere until you receive official notice on how that will work and another thing that Microsoft did on their conference or their showcase that was leaked out everywhere they showed us the price yes they showed us how much you're gonna pay they show us when it was going to be released and then they also showed us when you can actually pre-order the console Sony didn't do that in their showcase like literally if you don't go on Twitter you wouldn't have even known what was going on because at the time, Twitter, they posted out, they put up a Twitter, a tweet. I don't know why I'm saying Twitter. They put out a tweet letting people know 
that pre-order will open on the 17th, but somehow some retailers decided to open it a day early. And like I said, if you weren't one of the lucky few, you pretty much asked out. And then another thing that Sony lied about was they said that for next gen, they're only going to be focusing on next generation console. They're only going to be focusing on PlayStation 5. That was bullshit because Miles Morales will be releasing on PlayStation 4 as well. As well as Horizon um, Zero Dawn or the Forbidden West, that one is going to be released on PlayStation 4 as well. And um, I think Demon Soul was the only one that isn't going to be released for PlayStation 4, but Demon Souls is going to be on the PC, at least when you saw the press conference. I guess they said that was a human error, but I can bet you a dollar to a donut a few years later, Demon Souls will be on PC. Guaranteed. And then another thing that I didn't like is their pricing structures. I feel like they're all over the place with the, stru uh, with the pricing, all right? So their first party game, like the Demon Souls, you're going to be paying $70 for that one, all right? Miles Morales for PlayStation 5, I think you're going to be paying $50. And I think Sackboy is a $60 game. I don't know, man. It's it's just so confusing. Why can't you just be like, all right, we're focusing on next gen. Got it, right? We're focusing on next gen. Just go across the board, charge $70, and just be done with it. Don't be fluctuating with the prices and confusing the consumers and everything. I don't like that shit. Not cool, Sony. Not cool at all. And the fact that literally, like, right now is, what, 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, all the pre-orders are pretty much done. Like, Best Buy is done. GameStop, done. No pre-orders available. Walmart, Target, done. No pre-orders available. See? Now it's just showing this when I go to the website. <laughs> but what, But I was lucky enough to when I oh okay so back to my original story back it up a little bit all right so after I found out what was going on about the pre-orders I hopped on Best Buy and I uh, tried to pre-order one and their site will just not let you go anywhere at all like literally this the the website completely just crash and I actually have a video of me trying to secure one of these awesome console. So, as you can see on my cart, I believe. Hold on, let me move my face. Let me see here. If I can see. Okay, I moved myself. As you can see on the cart, I was able to add it to my cart. But every time I clicked on my cart, it would completely crash the site. Or it says something went completely wrong. It's insane. <laughs> so I hope you guys were able to snag one of these. Like um, for me, I was able to snag me some PlayStation Five. I got the GameStop um, bundled for seven forty nine. I think it's called the advanced version with it that comes with um two controllers, the PlayStation Live membership, um, two games, Destructive All-Star, as well as the Miles Morales, and what else did it come with? I think it comes with that rechargeable pack or whatever it is. So, yeah, today was just a dumpster fire. Um, Sony didn't really hold their, their promise at all. They lied about a bunch of things. Um, Anyway, let me know what your experience is and how you guys handled everything that went on. Um, yeah, it's still like that. Like the website is still, it's still saying that even if you click anywhere, we're sorry something went wrong. Like they're still having issues with the website. So, I don't know. The only place that I believe is available is going to be if you're buying directly from. Um, Sony, but who knows if you got one of those email, maybe you're gonna be lucky enough to snag one for yourself and um, Good luck to you guys. Um, if you're able to snag, snag one Congratulations, I was able to get one 
So look out for that video unboxing or something like that. Anyway, this is somewhat unbiased. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good one and good night. As soon as I can find my mouse.